Hey guys, welcome to my channel, Fishing with Badger. Uh, today we're headed out to Pimatuming Reservoir with my buddy Todd and my buddy Joe, and we're gonna be casting jerk baits for muskie. Uh, we are a new channel, and if you enjoy this video, please click the like and subscribe button. It really means a lot to us. So thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you guys out there. Hey, on. <laughs> yeah, six feet. Must have really sprayed back in here because it was clear to the top or early May. This side, like the visibility is a little lower. Does yours say temperature? Like yours on you your kayak? I don't have it set on there. It should. Yeah. Um, I haven't figured out how to. I'm still like. Actually, my map looks like Todd's now. I did get my. I, I tell you, I got my GPS working. My thing wasn't even working right. Really? No, see it had weeds all over it. That thing spun right there. Rockfish. Got one. Yeah, snag the smallmouth. That's not a bad size one. Oh, he hit it. Here. There you go. That's crazy. Sure. Felt like one. Look at that. Nice one, huh? Biggest smallmouth I've caught out of here. You could tell that was a bass right away. You could see the gold. Lodge, yeah. Right on that lily pad. Did you see that on? You didn't see that Todd about the sturgeons of Lake St. Clair? Yeah, Joey showed me that. That was pretty cool. You see how many there were? Yeah. I couldn't believe it. Yeah. Right of them. yeah. But now it's not that shocking that you snag them. Lots of good cast there. How shallow is that, Jeff? Not hitting bottom. Got one. See ya. Yep, nice one too. Good one too. There you go, Joe. That's a nice one. Oh, nice job. <laughs> nice net job. Oh, that was awesome. Bad grab it. Lemon head. Look at that. Where's that? Right there, right straight down. Whew. Doesn't stop. Oh, plugged out. I was just gonna tell him to take that color off. Yeah. <laughs> Here's where he got it on. Lemon head. That is cool. Six inch rubber tail. Go ahead. Nice one, Joe. Nice one, Joe. Nice. Good job. 
We have more of those sellers now. I know. That's good. I think I had to hammer it pretty good. So it does. is about ready, huh? Good and ready. Good. There it goes. Oh shit! Cut your line. Now I almost lost my reel. Holy shit! Yeah, I hope that's on video. Sure. Oh man, I don't know if that mm. that might that might be broke. I had trouble with that coming loose before. Shit, I got a biggest bird nest. <laughs> that's the first time I used that one. Worst comes to worst, I'll put the jerk bait on that other rod. I think it. Does it, does it go down in there? I'm wondering if that's finally bad. That's been loose for it years. It only stopped to here. It's not going like in It doesn't there. go all the way. It's better than what it was. Shit, I got all kinds of, oh, <laughs> I got a big bird's nest. That's the first time this rod was used. That was that was a pretty good cast for the rod the reel coming off. Man, I hope I don't like jerk and go to set the hook on a muskie and the reel comes off. That'd be bad. Always check that even on your trolling rods because my mine vibrates Yeah. I don't. I'd like to, if you find someone, let me know. I'd like to find someone that does rod repair. I get that tip fixed on that D&G rod I got, and then I wouldn't have to buy one. Is the end rod tip? Nah, well, I have, I have one, the end rod's bent, but I think it's okay. I've still been using it. But I have another one, the eyelet popped off. It's like right here, it's like this one. Oh! Oh shit, my reel came off. Joe, <laughs> I need help. Oh. Yeah, hold your rod. Okay. You reel. Shit. This is crazy. Do that. Your no, I'm backwards. Down. It's still on. You gotta be kidding me. This is insane. I can't use this reel no more. Just fighting, yeah. <laughs> this is retarded. Where is it coming up? Musky. Little musky. If you step back, I can pull your line. Yeah, step. Stand like right there. I'll hold it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Holy cow. <laughs> I can't use this one anymore. Yeah, give me a pair of pliers. That was insane. Badger, Badger, can you grab that pair of pliers right there? Yeah, take a picture of that lure. Awesome, Badger. Well, that was pretty crazy. Good. It's got some battle scars. Look at that. You want to measure them real quick? Here, bring yeah. them down this way. He's got a bad right eye. Right there. 30, 30 inches. Just hang on to the boga. Hey guys, I'm back at the house now. I just wanted to do a quick wrap up video. Uh, I thought we had a pretty good day today. You know, we boated two fish. Um, we uh, had one raise up and miss the plug and we had another one follow in. Uh, the fish were pretty active, you know, for Pennsylvania and for it being 
late in the summer. Um, I think, you know, as the water temperatures cool down, the fish will start to pick up here a little bit. Um, unfortunately, I believe my rod is shot. Uh, where the rod fastens to the reel, I believe is stripped out. Uh, that, that rod has a lot of sentimental meaning to me. I've, I've had that rod since I was in my 20s and I've caught quite a few muskie with it. Um, but I do have an idea what I want to replace it with. Um, hopefully I can get that done over the next month or two. I do have some rods to get me by until then. Um, but I appreciate you guys tuning in. If you have any questions, uh, drop them in the comment box or hit me up inbox. And you guys have a great day.